you may come across one of these type of gas valves. It doesn't have the knob on it. It's got this button and it can be a little confusing. You'd find it in this position with your pilot off. So what you'd want to do, is you're going to move it over to pilot and then you're going to light a lighter, move it over to set and hold it there. Oh, now you've got to start counting. <clears throat> And now what happens when you do this, the thermocouple tip is made of two dissimilar metals that when they're heated up, <clears throat> create a tiny electrical charge. And that electrical charge holds a tiny little electromagnet inside the gas valve. In a weird way, it's kind of like you're setting a mouse trap backwards. <laughs> I don't know, um, in layman's terms, so... Uh, it takes a little while to heat up that tip and generate the 30 millivolts. Um, it takes a thousand millivolts to make one volt. So 30 millivolts is very small. And um, it takes about a minute to generate enough electricity to activate the electromagnet inside the gas valve. Now, you know, can you go longer? Sure. What if it doesn't hold? Sometimes... This is loose. You might even see two wires coming out of here that go to a safety. In that case, you have another situation, possibly. But generally speaking, right at about 60 seconds, you let it go to pilot, and it should stay on. And then you're going to flip it to on. And once it's in on and you're energized, you're ready to go. This one has a door switch. I know the thermostat's up, so... Oh, the breaker's off too, huh? There we go. And we've got flames again. Beautiful, wonderful flames. And there you go. That's how to light one of these type of pilots.